Hello guys, welcome to creating project on Altera Quarter Spine for Cyclone 10 FVG. So we are going to write a program, basic program for Cyclone 10 FVG. So let's open the Quarter Spine and let's start the project. So we are going to place a new name for the project. So you can place any name. And this is our first project, so we'll we'll tell about like project test. And you can also locate your project directory. And if you want, then you can create a project folder there. And you can do next. And sometimes if your folder uh, over overlaid or overlapped with the other, other project, then it will show this type of errors or warnings. Then you can just create a new project using new folder. So you can create a new folder there in the location. And you can. You can place your project inside that folder. The best way is by creating new folder and inserting the project inside that. So you can just uh, click on empty project and let's do next. We, are, we don't have any add file sources file. And this menu actually signifies which part of device you have. We are targeting Cyclone 10 LP FUG board. So we have to search for corresponding board part which is 10. That series is actually Cyclone 10. Uh, you can go to Cyclone 10 parts and you can see the corresponding part of Cyclone 10, which is you can search for 10 CL025YU. Then you can get the board part, which is 10 CL025YU25617G. So you can select that and do next. We don't have any setting for ED tool setting. I mean, we have a summary and you can do finish. Actually, we are uh, trying to uh, show you some different perspective of how to create projects. And so we are going to show up the different way and we will place different sources and we will place different name of sources. So what are the consequences of those type of settings you will know about in this tutorial now you can go to file and new new source we are going to add the bare log sdl type of source and actually we are doing very basic implementation very basic counter design so we already have uh, copied the source we will also provide that source in the comment section or attachment then you can just save that source by any name any name you can place any name we are just going to place counter dot b and what we can do is we can start the analysis and synthesis process and first of all we have to make the counter be the top module so you can go to files and make set top module is counter dot b and you can see the hierarchy then you will see the counter source is the top module now you can go to analyze and synthesis then you can start the synthesis process analyze the synthesis process and let's see we're also trying to uh, make some mistakes so you will learn about how the mistakes appear and thus we, we just get the some errors here so we just have to rename our project actually project source and module name must be synchronized however in Xilinx tool it doesn't necessary but in Alter you have to have the synchronization of project name and project module name so all the things are good now we can save it control s and we can just start the analyzing this process again and it is running so after it completes it will show up the percentage also in the side and it will also show up the status in the console so it is almost completing now we can go to assignment we are going to place the pin assignments so just click on pin pin settings and this is actually chip layout or fvg ic or, or chip IC chip layout so we have to place the constant for lead and clock so our constant for uh, lead is L14 and clock is at E1 so we have to, we have to change the IU standard and the current setting current, sorry, current strength Uh, let's change the IO to 
into 3.0 LVTTL, 3.0 volt LVTTL, and the current is 8 milliampere, and screw rate is 2. Actually, screw rate is the uh, responsiveness of the device. Laid are responsive, but it has slow rate of 2, which is the default. And for the clock, we can change the IO standard to 2.5 volt and uh, that is not necessary for changing the current strength for clock source so after it completes what we can do is we can just close the menu this uh, pin planner option then we can we can set the uh, another constant file the clock actually we have we are utilizing the clock so we have to Let's uh, let's close the option. Then we can go to. Now we can add another source, which is uh, Synapses Design Constraint Source, which actually consists of tickle file, tool command language file, script file for constraint, clock, and lead. So we already have provided the corresponding location, but we also need to provide some additional constraint. So this is the typical file source type of constant, which is Synapsis Design Constant extension of SDC. We also have provide uh, provide the necessary code, uh, the constant source with this uh, attachment. So we can download that, and we can just initially save is the constant file is any name. So we have counter source counter SDC might be good name. Now we can paste our constant setting, constant source, then. We can just save the design. Actually, this constraint source consists of clock constant, which is actually 50 megahertz clock we are going to use with Cyclone 10 LPF FGA. And we also have the late constraint setting. Now we can just compile the design for that. Uh, go to compilation and start the compilation, or you can just do that process from uh, processing. and after the compilation completes it will show up the successful message then we can just program our RPG now the successful message has been already displayed here we can just go to program FPG and right click on it and open and we can just select the hardware cyclone 10 and we can click on auto detect and our part is default and let's click on ok and no then just add file uh, add the sop file programmable file inside the output folder and we can just click on start 